All right, on today's episode of my V blog, I am going to be talking about do business schools look down on my application if I took the GMAT or GRE more than once? This is a question I get from a lot of students. Um, a lot of students that come to our prep classes, our GMAT and GRE prep classes, they're very concerned about making sure that whenever they take the GMAT or the GRE test, that they score a perfect score the first time, that they score very, very well the first time. And I always like to tell them that, you know what, that is actually not what happens in the real world. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably concerned about the same thing, which is why you clicked on this video saying, hey, is it a bad thing if I've taken the GMAT or GRE two or three times, maybe even until four times in some cases, and is that going to impact my application? I'm here to tell you no. The, the, the business schools and the grad schools will always tell you, and they understand, depending on if you're a full-time um, person, if you've been working full-time and you're looking to go back to school, even if you just graduated out of school, they understand that you've not taken some of these courses, um, you know, math class or even a verbal class in a while, um, and you've been in your major courses. So they understand that, you know, going getting back into the swing of things and taking a practice test, or if you've, even if, if you've been out of school for 20 years or something, it takes time. It takes time to really, really get good at these uh, uh, tests. So they understand, and they would tell you, say, for example, I actually had a situation with one of the business schools that we work with here in Atlanta that actually sent students to us and say, hey, this student, we really like them. We like the application. We like everything else about them. But guess what? The GMAT score is just not quite where it needs to be or the GRE score is not quite where it needs to be. Can you work with them? Can you make sure you either tutor them or they come to your prep class? And that's something we work with with schools all the time. So I'm here to tell you that when you're applying to a lot of the business schools and, and the grad schools, it's very important they see that you're doing and you're making improvements. So the key fact that I'm going to say here is even if you took a test right on the GMAT and you score scored, I don't know, say like you scored a, you know, a 580 and your target score is like a 680, like 100 points more. Well, it's a good thing when you're able to show the schools that, hey, the last time I took the test, I got a 580. I studied, I took a prep class, got a tutor. Um, and over the month or month and a half, I was able to improve my score to a higher 680 score. And that also is already telling them that, look, I'm a hard worker. I can do what it takes for me to be actually stronger and be better. And this actually helps your application process. It doesn't look down. It doesn't make your application process any weaker. So um, that's what my tip for today is just to let you know that you want to take the test as many times you, as you need to be able to take it to improve your score. Absolutely. But make sure you're doing something in between. And that's what our prep classes do at successprep.com. You go to successprep.com. You can um, find all the details about the different prep classes here in Atlanta and also around the world. We have a lot of tools on the website that will help you study for the GMAT and also to put the GRE test pretty efficiently. And, all, and with that, I just want to thank you for listening and see you later. Talk to you soon.